In the tapestry of South African politics, few figures are as polarizing and enigmatic as Julius Malema. From his fiery rhetoric to his dramatic rise and equally dramatic controversies, Malema's life reads like a script out of a high-stakes political drama. Yet beneath the headlines and the uproar lies a story lesser known shaped by early struggles, resilience, and a profound transformation that many overlook. Julius Malema's story begins in the modest township of Seychego, South Africa. Born to a single mother who was a domestic worker, the seeds of his fiery political persona were sown in the soil of hardship and early responsibility. As a child, Malema was deeply influenced by the anti-apartheid movements, a backdrop that would later define his political trajectory. Growing up, Malema was a keen participant in school debates, often taking on subjects that were politically charged. This early exposure to public speaking and political discourse shaped his assertive communication style. Despite the financial constraints, Malema's mother ensured he received a decent education, instilling in him a strong sense of justice and resistance against inequality. These early experiences were pivotal in molding Malema into a charismatic and controversial leader. Malema's entry into politics was marked by his involvement with the African National Congress Youth League ANCL. His charismatic leadership and bold public statements quickly propelled him up the ranks, eventually leading him to the presidency of the ANCL. During his tenure, Malema was known for his aggressive stance on economic freedom and land reform, themes that resonated with many young South Africans. However, his methods and rhetoric often sparked intense debate and polarized public opinion. His rise was not without challenges, Malema faced multiple suspensions and was eventually expelled from the ANC. This expulsion, however, did little to halt his political ambitions, but instead set the stage for the next chapter of his life. At the peak of his career within the ANC, Malema enjoyed considerable prosperity. However, his expulsion was quickly followed by financial and legal troubles. In 2013, his assets were seized and he was brought to the brink of financial ruin. The asset repossession was a public spectacle with media often portraying Malema as a fallen star. This period was critical as it stripped him of material wealth, but also provided a humbling experience that reshaped his political strategy. Facing these adversities, Malema's resolve hardened. He began to reconstruct his image and redirected his energies towards a new political movement that promised to be a voice for the disenfranchised. In 2013, amidst personal and political upheaval, Julius Malema founded the Economic Freedom Fighters, or EFF, a party that would soon become a significant force in South African politics. The EFF was built on principles of radical economic transformation, land redistribution, and anti-corruption. The formation of the EFF marked a pivotal turn in Malema's career. It was not just a political party, it was a statement, a defiance against the political establishment that had ostracized him. Under his leadership, the EFF quickly gained traction, appealing especially to the youth and those disillusioned by the traditional political discourse. Malema's ability to mobilize and inspire a grassroots movement was evident as the EFF secured significant seats in the subsequent elections. Post-repossession, Malema's journey to reclaim his wealth was as controversial as it was impressive. Through a combination of public speaking, investments, and political maneuvering, Malema slowly rebuilt his financial standing. This phase of his life was characterized by a sharp acumen for both politics and business. Malema's strategies in navigating through financial recovery demonstrated his resilience and ability to turn setbacks into comebacks. Critics, however, remained skeptical of his wealth accumulation often questioning the sources and methods. Despite these criticisms, Malema continues to be a significant figure in South African politics, championing the cause of the economically marginalized. Julius Malema is no stranger to controversy. From charges of hate speech to accusations of inciting violence, his career has been mired in legal battles and public disputes. Each controversy has added layers to his public persona, painting him as a villain to some and a hero to others. The media has played a crucial role in shaping Malema's image, 
often focusing on his most provocative statements. This portrayal, while attracting widespread attention, sometimes obscures the complexities of his political messages and objectives. Understanding Malema's public persona requires a deep dive into the context of his statements and the reactions they elicit within the socio-political landscape of South Africa. To truly understand Julius Malema, one must look beyond the media portrayals. His mindset is a tapestry of fierce loyalty to his political ideals, a profound sense of justice, and a complex understanding of South Africa's socio-economic issues. Malema envisions a South Africa where economic disparities are addressed boldly and decisively. His philosophy is rooted in a deep-seated belief in economic freedom and equity, ideals that he pursues with relentless passion. Understanding this mindset is key to comprehending the drive behind his actions and rhetoric. It provides a clearer picture of Malema, not just as a politician, but as a reformer and a complex human being striving for a transformative vision for his country. Julius Malema's story is a compelling narrative of resilience, controversy, and a relentless pursuit of a vision. His life and career provide a unique lens through which to view the challenges and dynamics of contemporary South African politics. Imagine a young boy in the dusty streets of Seychego, South Africa, who would grow up to become one of the most formidable figures in modern African politics. This boy, Julius Malema, would rise from humble beginnings to lead a major political movement, face dramatic public and legal battles, and challenge the very foundations of his country's economic policies. His story is not just a political journey, but a testament to resilience, controversy, and the complex interplay of personal and public life.